Hello, today is Saturday, the 8th day of October 2016. Welcome to today's uh, video on the Silver Charts channel. Take a look at the daily chart as well. The NHL season will uh, start on Wednesday. I'm going to go over my only future selection as well as uh, early leans to Wednesday. That will be after the analysis within this video. If they're in this sideways action, you didn't want to buy, you wanted to wait to get a deal, a discount, well, those players won. They could have bought in here. Maybe they're still waiting for cheaper. We'll see if that turns out to be a winning play or not. But what that results towards is a discount on the bill, maybe 10%, 8% cheaper, maybe 8 10% more silver added to your buy. Those are what the reward is for the risk of being wrong and breaking above where you would have to pay more or get less and that's really the nature of the game only price pays and there are some people that say it doesn't matter how much you buy for because you're just playing for the end game the net result to play to that form you're talking about and that is true however if you do correctly time your gains well, that could very easily net you uh, an X percentage of a larger uh, a silver stack uh, by waiting, in this case, to buy in the 17s rather than buying in the 19 area. And, uh, yeah, that's basically really the, all that needs to be said for that point. Now, within the down moves, the big down uh, play, there was a million Silver Eagles uh, sold from the U.S. Mint on that day. And the sales over the last few months have been lackluster, to, just, uh, to say the least. And then on the Thursday down day, another third of a million were sold as well. And there's only about like five, six, seven, eight or some companies that buy from them, some small number. And what it seemed was over the first few months of the year they bought larger than they normally would thus having a larger inventory which that's everything against the just-in-time system but last year just-in-time was a failure within the silver eagles as there were long delays uh, historically over the last five years there's been many long delays now as far as the, uh, the the analysis of these fibonacci lines is concerned in here small support was found 2% gain next day after that it fell below it next day which was Friday it resisted it as it was three cents short of that mark within that high therefore if you start to see this thing coming down lower I really will highly believe there's a good chance that it will make the uh, 16 and change targets that I've been showing on the weekly and the monthly charts if it doesn't if 17 and a quarter area is the bottom and it's trading above here that gives me the second reason to give me this uh, uh the strength not the strength show me high probability for this to be the failed move why two reasons well one the eye test will show it below this fibonacci but two if it's going to find support where it's not supposed to, that would tell me that it's more of a failed move because it wasn't supposed to come down to 17 and low change. The 17 and three quarters area after this support, the next one isn't until really this range in here, as shown on the weekly and the uh, the monthly. So if this does bottom towards this area. Yeah, that would be showing the strong signs, which is why when I'm stating, if I see it falling lower with poor momentum, probably below 1740 or in that area, then I'm going to really like the chances that it does test into the 16 mark. Other areas of uh, resist, well, that's support areas. The key resistance level is going to be two for now, or a bunch really, 18 and a half, and then this 19 and then you're going to be talking about these previous highs after that and uh, yeah that'll be it for the silver analysis so those who are tuning out thank you and that means now that the NHL season is coming as far as futures bets is concerned I don't like uh, 
taking team uh, totals as far as this team to have more or less wins than the stadium amount because they usually get somewhere close to even odds. And then one I'm taking is two to one odds. So it's probably the minimum, but that's the Toronto Maple Leafs to make the playoffs. I'm giving this franchise a bit better than 50% as they bring in three exciting young rookies to the team. They have the return of uh, JVR, James Van Riemsdyk, to their team who spent the uh, last season on the shelf due to injury. They brought in a very viable goaltender in the offseason. And this is the second year of uh, a new head coach who, ha not a new head coach, but a coach who has a very good track record of being good. And the management has been new for the last few years. It does seem as if this team is on the next stage on their development, which would be flirting with the playoff spot. When you're getting two to one odds, and you can even get uh, two and a quarter to one, then that means you need to be right at least 33% of the time. And I believe long term, it's much greater than that. It's close to 50%. As far as my early leans to the season, the, it's going to be with Toronto again. I'll be looking to play their games over the total and to back what I think will be very poor prices because the bookmakers believe that the Leafs are the fifth, sixth worst team in hockey, and I have to disagree with that. They're playing Ottawa on Wednesday. I think they should be the favorites of this game, and uh, we'll see. But uh, if I get a very good price to play Toronto, I will. I'll also be looking to go over the total in those games. And I like the overs more, I think, with Toronto because with their uh, inexperience and outside of and their veterans not being as skillful as other teams' veterans are, I think this team is going to be prone to make a, a bit of mistakes, which, which should open the door for a lot of six and seven plus goal games this season. So I'll be looking to be backing over five early in the season with the club and if I do get a, a total of such on on Wednesday I will be taking over that number expecting that to be a very good profitable play so thank you for tuning in and uh, take care bye-bye